Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, 4th of July is around the corner, so I figured let's make a video where we eat something very patriotic, very American. Um, what could you think that is most American? You're probably thinking of hamburgers, but what's more American is hot dogs. <laughs> um, we're going to be making hot dogs from scratch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Google real quick. Define cooking from scratch. I spelled scratch wrong. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Cooking from scratch means buying more basic ingredients. It means probably using more fruits and vegetables and less pre-made sauces loaded with sugar and salt. Basic ingredients, getting basic ingredients, you know, and like, I'm pretty sure building up, cooking from scratch, you're, you're gonna have to do some steps on your own, you know, and if you get mad from this video, you need to smile a little bit more. This is for entertainment purposes only. Let's build a hot dog from scratch. Let's make our way to the kitchen. I made it safely to the kitchen. Um, let's get the stuff that we're gonna be needing for our recipe. Ooh, whoa, there's a lot of stuff in this fridge. Take a quick look. Whoa, 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 that's enough. Not too many. All right, you know, what's a hot dog without, you know, a nice bun, you know, you need some bread. Toss the bread over there. Boom, there you go. Um, you're gonna need some, you're gonna need some mustard, you know? Oh, say can you see? Ah, uh, don't forget about the ketchup, you know, hopefully this is not expired. Hope this ketchup isn't expired, I don't really eat ketchup that much. Um, I know we're missing something. Bread. We need some meat, bro, we need some hot dogs, is that? Oh, we need some sauce. It's not called a hot dog. It's called a sausage. All right, let me just um, set you guys and girls down right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you guys looking at? Look at my face up here, okay? That's not nice. That's not on back up real quick. Um, can't, I can't believe I can't believe I'm calling this video cooking out of scratch. It kind of is, you know, we're missing a we gotta put in some work, you know, we've got a couple of steps we need to do. So it's kind of like cooking from scratch. Um, you need to start with a plate, you know, you gotta grab a plate. Let me see here. Ooh. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. All right, get your plate. You know, you're gonna need some uh, sausages, you know. I keep on backing up because this camera's facing down this way. Okay, sorry about that. Are right, you gonna need some uh, sausages. My choice of sausage today is Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar. Oh my goodness, jalapeno cheddar. That means it's um, filled with jalapenos and cheese. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, how do you get cheese and jalapenos in there? How do you open this? Oh my goodness, uh-oh. Game over. Should have thought this through. Oh wait, this is how you do it. <sighs> okay, there you are. Before you know, before you cook, always make sure you wash your hands. That's a good chef. That's what a good chef does. Give your hand a nice wash, you know. Even though the food is just for yourself, you know, it's all good, it's all good. It's good practice. Um, I'm gonna be eating two of these, so I'm just gonna grab two of these, put them on the plate. And again, you guys can use any kind of sausages, sausages you guys wanna use. You know, it could be the regular sausages, maybe some sausage links for your hot dogs or whatnot. All right, I got two in this beautiful plate right here. Very beautiful, right? Um, you wanna get a piece of napkin? Get a piece of napkin and put it over the plate and then 
for this next step, it's going to be very important. You know, everybody's step for this one is going to be a little different because everyone has a different type of microwave. For some reason, my microwave is super strong. It's like, it's like super strong. I'll put something in for like 50 seconds and it'll blow up. I'll put like those French bread pizzas in there for like 80 seconds. It'll, it'll burn the cheese in there. It'll burn the plastic onto the pizza. So, you know, make sure you know how strong your microwave is and uh, how many seconds to put it in. You know what? I'm going to show you guys this part because it's very important. I don't want you guys to mess up. So let's take a look here, okay? All right, here's my microwave. Make sure you have a paper over it because, you know, radiation from the microwave and stuff. It's very dangerous. Just pop this bad boy in. Um, you go to, you don't need to press anything. Just press the number. 30 seconds. That's good enough. Let's do it. And then you just go. Bing. All right, while that's in the microwave, we're going to get another piece of paper. You know, another piece of towel, you know, towel right here. Um, grab your buns. This was refrigerated, so you know, who wants to... Our hot dogs are done. Who wants to eat like cold buns? That's no good. Um, 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 um. Take this out real quick. Definitely hot enough. Definitely, definitely hot enough. Grab two of these buns, you know. And you guessed it. We're gonna toss these in the microwave. Also, make sure you grab the paper again, wrap it in a, like a little blanket so you know, radiation. This is probably, for me, is gonna be like, probably like um 10 seconds. I just need it a little warm, you know. I don't like to eat it cold. I don't think anyone likes their buns cold either way. We're almost done, you know, this is, this is cooking from scratch, you know. Did you, did you see how many steps we have to do? That's we took them out of the refrigerator, we put, we got a bowl, we microwaved the meat, the sausage, and then we microwaved the bread. We're not even done yet, there's so many more steps to go, holy cow. You know, I think this video would be helpful for a lot of people who aren't skilled in the kitchen, like me. That's why, you know, I just want to help the community. Alright. Um, you know, I like to be a little adventurous. I want to like dress this hot dog up a little bit even though, you know, there's already cheese in that. What I like to do is grab a little sandwich slice of cheese, you know. Open this bad boy up real quick. And have another little blanket in there for the little hot dog to go inside. Wow, look how... Wow, this is some quality, quality hot dog, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. The other bun. We'll, we'll do no cheese on that because, you know, there's already cheddar in here. We're going to toss that there. Looking pretty good so far. Get our mustard. Dude, this is so American. Mustard. Oh, doesn't that look nice? I feel like I'm Picasso right now. Mustard on the other one too. Why not? I love mustard. And the one with the cheese, gonna throw some, uh, shake, shake the ketchup bottle real quick. Okay. And you know, I don't want to have two same hot dogs. Let me get one more thing from the refrigerator, refrigerator. Where is it? What happened to it? Okay, the other one, you know, I want it to be a little different. So, you know, we're gonna throw in some tapatio. Give it a little spicy kick, you know what I mean? A little sour with the mustard, a little spicy with the tapatio. Dude, let's go find a seat and let's go enjoy these bad boys together. We found a seat. Uh, dude, I really need to invest in a wide angle lens but it's like 400 bucks i can't afford that i don't really want to owe money again i seriously after after paying off my debt well most of it like i said i still owe money for the camera i don't really want to get more debt dude look let me do you not see oh doesn't that look delicious you know what i need to get my camera so i could take a uh 
thumbnail for this one second. Oh my goodness, I'm running around getting my phone so I can take a picture. I can finally eat now, dude. Hope you guys grabbed something. Hope you guys learned something today. <laughs> Smells delicious. Oh, baby. Dude, look at this. Cover my eyes real quick so I get fo- Dude, this is like a cheese, cheesy madness because there's already cheese cheddar on the, in the hot dog and I added more cheese. Oh my god, let's try this out. Oh, Mmm. You can see the jalapeno and the cheese from the sausage. Oh yeah. There's a, there was a time where I ate nothing but hot dogs for like three weeks straight. Cause you know, I'm always trying to save money. Dude, I was so sick of hot dogs after that. I, I'm finally back in the mood for some, you know, Because it's cheap, you know, you just need to buy some bread, bro buy some sausages. Okay, maybe not three weeks. That's pretty much too long. Maybe like two weeks. It'll last you quite a while, you know. Bread and uh, sausages is like six bucks. Six bucks times two, 12 bucks, cause you know, two weeks. Hot dogs and uh, instant noodles. Hmm. It's not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I think I'm just gonna eat this off camera I think this purpose was to show my cooking because right now I don't really know what kind of topic I should talk about <laughs>